What's good, y'all? It's your boy Francis checking in right here at the showroom. Let's jump right into it. Macy's is introducing a new store concept. With retail taking a big hit in 2019 and 2020, Macy's realized in order to survive, they had to scale down to a smaller store footprint. That store is called Market by Macy's. The store is about 20,000 square feet and is gonna be located in off-mall shopping centers. With only two stores right now, both in Texas, one in South Lake, the other in Dallas-Fort Worth, Macy's says they are using these as testing grounds to perfect their process. The new store will have full and self-checkout with focus services, which is buy online, pick up in store, with also same day delivery with DoorDash. Macy's is saying they are listening to consumers and are trying their best to pivot for the future. With brands like Barney's going out of business, we will see how this smaller footprint will help Macy's survive for the future. Coming in with our dope collab, we have Clout and Polo Ralph Lauren. Clout is known for bridging the East and the West. The Hong Kong based label reimagines some of Polo's quintessential classic pieces in this collection. The well known Oxford is outfitted with frog buttons in replace of traditional buttons that we've all grown to know. Available in both white and chambray, the brand refers to this collection as Clout's Chinese Heritage Touch mixed with. Polo Ralph Lauren's American style. The collection is a unique and exciting shakeup to the classic polo pieces we've all grown accustomed to. The collection is set to drop January 27th on the Polo app and at select retail locations. Coming in with our dope product, we have the Nissan Caravan Office Pod concept. The pandemic has had many people working remotely, and in response, Nissan has created the Nissan Caravan Office Pod. The concept guts out the cargo area of an NV350 Caravan and as a desk and office chair giving owners the freedom to set up shop anywhere. When you're feeling too confined inside, the workstation slides out for open air working space. While the rooftop doubles as an outdoor lounge with a reclining chair and umbrella, its exterior has also been upgraded with textured panels and a matte two-tone finish. This car is still a concept, but if Nissan put it in production, would you cop? So today we are unboxing the Nike Air Max 97 Undefeated collab. Um, never seen a shoe before, so this is gonna be exciting. I feel like when Nike does collab with certain shoes, they use this black kind of matte finished box. As you can see here, the reflective undefeated on the side, nice detailing, the Nike swoosh at the top with also that kind of reflective um, paint job. So let's see what's inside. So we have some nice, let me show you. It's kind of undefeated tissue paper right here, letting you know what you're about to get into. Oh, it's nice. So this is my first time laying eyes on the shoe. Um, I actually thought this was suede, the, like the midsole area, but it is a, a really nice leather. It is more of like a black and olive. We all know the 97 is a classic um, shoe and it kind of gives you that bullet feel. It's very sleek and long. But even with the touches of like this bright neon, it still feels like, not elegant, but, but smooth. You know, it's not too loud and it's not too like hype beastie either. It's, it's a subtle shoe. And I like the little touches of the undefeated branding like on the, pull, on the tongue here. And even, even on the inside, so right, if you look at the sole, I'll take it out. So if you look at the sole, they've got the Nike swoosh on top of the undefeated um, palette, I guess. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty dope shoe. Um, nice collab. You know, 
know if you're a big fan of Undefeated or a fan of the 97, this is definitely something you might want to add. And it has little touches of like this kind of neon green is, you know, very similar to that neon green you find in the Air Max 95. So yeah, it's a cool shoe. Definitely, definitely a nice 97. Tell us what you think. OD, cop, drop, flip, trash it. Let me know what you think. Pretty cool. Coming in with our cool kick, we have the Adidas Yeezy Quantum Flora, which is set to drop May 2021. We don't have an exact date yet, but we do have a price tag of $250. Uh, with a long list of puns that have recently dropped, this is probably the most shocking or eye-catching in terms of color. Uh, with a predominantly orange and tan color blocking with see-through stripes across the side panels, brown accents appear on the ankle and collar and toe box, completed with a full-length boost midsole and translucent outsole. You know, this is definitely the Quantum is definitely a, a new shoe, a new silhouette within the Yeezy lineup, but it's definitely starting to grow in popularity. The more I see it on feet, I'm definitely getting more interested in probably, probably copping a pair. And I'm really liking this colorway that the floor is bringing to the game. So May 2021, I might have to cop some Yeezy. If you want to get your music featured on Music Mondays, upload your music to the Heavy Sound Lab portal. That's right. If you want to get featured, upload your music. Don't upload your music, you can't be featured. Simple. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your boy Francis. This is the showroom, and we out, y'all. Peace.